Peace that, be edited in out. the airwaves W-F-M-U. With Kaylee Hey! Oh, hi guys, it's me Kaylee Merry Christmas! <laughs> what are you gonna do? Merry Christmas! Well, that was stupid. Merry Christmas! Oh, I need Santa. <laughs> Merry Christmas! Merry Christmas, everybody! Who's on the lap now? Why don't you tell me what you want for Christmas? What was that supposed to mean? <laughs> Do you guys like my cat sweater? Everything's ringing! It was an email from Evan Funk Davies of WFMU! Do you guys like my cat sweater? It's like, not technically a Christmas sweater, but it's the most Christmassy sweater I own currently. But look at it! It's so nice! It's so many cats! This is actually one of like four cat sweaters that I own. Maybe that number will go up this year. So, oh, this the lighting on this is like, you can see all the light beams. So I was sick for a while after landing in New York from Chicago. Uh, some of you may know I was in Chicago like two weeks ago for um, work. <laughs> and then, you know, I got on the flight home. I got home. I was okay. And then suddenly I was not okay. And I was in the hospital. It could be that I just can't fly in airplanes. Or maybe it was because, like, on that flight I was surrounded by babies. It could be both. But thank you for all your well wishes on, like, every social media I'm on. I'm really grateful for all of you. And, you know, I love you. And, oh my god, I have a tear. It's time for the Weekly Beastie Awards! Oh, wait, I need, like, a... Jingle Bell. Okay, we have about 5,000 billion Starbucks latte ornaments, but we don't have one Jingle Bell. These are my other favorite ornaments. We have a lot of really good ornaments at my family home because some of these are like practically vintage from the 90s. <laughs> vintage from the 90s, it's a thing. These are Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer ornaments from 1999. Oh yeah! Vintage! <laughs> and uh, this is... She only has one leg. Feline only has one leg, unfortunately. But I think it makes her have all the more charm, you know? It's like, who doesn't want to love the girl with a disability, right? She's pretty, she has a bow, she has a disability. You can take advantage of her easily. She's vulnerable. Then we have Rudolph, who totally has nothing wrong with him. At all. It's a man's world. And then... <laughs> we have Herbie the Elf, who has no legs. <laughs> well, I guess that's no feet. He has no calves or feet. I think you're kind of cute. Oh my god, I'm cute, I'm cute! She said I'm cute! I want to be a dentist. That's not his voice. I want to be a dentist. The end. Thank you very much. It's time for the Weekly Beastie Awards. <laughs> We've hit a milestone, people. A major milestone. Like, I might cry. Friday's first One Direction related comment ever Beastie Award goes to Mr. Biggles. I think I know who you are, but I'm going to ignore it for the sake of my moment and my happiness. Harry Styles is his name. Harry Styles is his game. 1D, 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 1D. Please play 1D, 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 1D. Still, Louis is the hunkiest, but Harry is the hairiest. I don't have like an official comment on how I feel about One Direction, but I will tell you that upon seeing this comment and another one by the same person, I was really happy. So I'm just so honored to have comments about boy bands on my page. I feel like I'm getting to YouTube status. This week's best worst joke, Beastie, goes to Greg from Bloomfield. Did you hear about that actress that killed her husband? Reese something? Witherspoon? No, with a knife. 
cutlery humor. Shout out to my first three commenters, Steve, Guido, and Fred. Whoop! Jingle bells that I don't have. This is an unofficial start to what will probably end up looking like a series of videos where I am way too excited about Christmas. It is not Christmas yet. At all. And I'm already like, Christmas! Christmas! So yeah, expect this Christmas tree. That's the wrong way. Expect this Christmas tree in the background for all upcoming videos until Christmas! I'm really excited and honored to still be on the FMU schedule after the recent schedule change. If you want to see who, which of your favorites are back, or which of your favorites are still here, or what's changed, or whatever, head to wfmu.org, and the link to the new program schedule is there. So catch Beast in the Airwaves this Friday, 9 a.m. to noon, and kick off your weekend with my special guest, Juan Waters! I'll finally be airing the Juan Waters live session featuring guest vocalist Carmel. Juan Waters, if you don't already know or remember, is the... is... was... The singer from The Beats, who were one of my first live guests ever on Beast and the Airwaves in 2008, which you can find in the archives. Click here to hear some music by Juan Waters. Boop, boop, boop. Aw, oh, yeah, girl. Major stuff, guys. Don't miss it. I love you. Keep beasting. One, two, three, four. WFMU. You got it. Thank you, uh, WFMU. Now we're going to have a Christmas song dance party! Feliz Navidad! Feliz Navidad! You're rocking around Christmas tree at the Christmas party hop! Spencer and Prancer and Vixen Comet and Cupid and Dahmer and Blitz But do you recall the most famous reindeer of all, Rudolph the red-nosed reindeer, had a very shiny nose, and if you ever saw it, you would even say it glows. <laughs> 